quickly. They said, go to it quickly so you'll have more time to talk. He is a legitimate legend. He is an artist's artist. He's worked with Little Richard, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, Bob Dylan, Barbara Streisand. The list is so long you can never get it in. I think he idolizes privately Mr. Ray Charles. I idolize him, and I mean that genuinely. I love to listen to this man. This is Billy Preston. <laughs> Away and pretend that you just don't exist. Cause nothing seems to make sense anymore. You can't find a reason for going on. So you go to your room, shut every window, lock every door. You try to hide the hurt inside. You try to sleep away the pain. And suddenly, a light comes shining through. It brightens the whole world She lets you know she cares She's never far behind Trust me and you find She's everywhere Always there in times of trouble But never hurt you would not deserve you she never let you down oh no without her you can't win but with her you begin to realize that through her eyes you'll see the sunrise just look around you there's trouble Mr. Preston, Thank you. Let, let me pull this out here. We'll sit down for a minute. Do you, uh, how, how do I put this? Everybody keeps saying how great you are. And uh, there's one person over there who agrees. <laughs> no, I mean, all the important people in our business say you are extraordinary. How do you keep your head reasonable? Mm. You're a modest man. Well, it's, it's probably because of the way I was brought up. My mother is from the church, and I was raised in the church, and I believe that my talent is a God-given gift uh, since I've been playing since I was three years old, you know, and uh, so I can't take too much care. <laughs> three. Three? <laughs> yes, yes. When did you first go out in public and do this sort of thing? Uh, when I was about six years old in the church. Is there anything you haven't done? I mean, uh, you've, you've played with big orchestras, famous stars. You've played by yourself. You've done duets. You've had million sellers. What's left for you? I'm going to act. Are you really? Are you serious? <laughs> yes, yes. Are you preparing for it? Yes, uh, we're studying now. Me and Sarita, in fact, are studying, you know, so we'll be ready when the parts come in. 
much good luck. Now, there's one thing I was alluding to. You're going to Eastern Europe. Now, yes. this, this is, is this called Behind the Iron Curtain? Right, yes. We're going to Czechoslovakia, Budapest, and a number of other places. I mean, normally, under these circumstances, I say to an artist, have you ever done this before? You have not, have you? <laughs> well, I did go to Czechoslovakia with the Rolling Stones once on a tour. You were too young to remember that. <laughs> um, have they oh, by the way, I just want to thank you very much for playing Space Race, you know, every, oh. on every show. I really appreciate it. I love your stuff. Love I, I'm a big fan. What I said over there is for real. I'm a big Billy Preston fan. Uh, Haven't you figured that out yet? <laughs> when do you get back from Eastern Europe? Um, uh, we'll, be, we'll be gone for about two months, and uh, when we come back, we'll be uh, finishing up a duet album with me and Sarita. When I listen to you sing this next song in rehearsal, I said, and I may be incorrect, it reminded me, or I said, maybe he was inspired by Ray Charles. Mm -hmm. Is there any touch of Ray in this? Oh, yes, most definitely. Ray's in everything I do. And this song was a Sam Cooke hit, and um, the first album I ever made was on Sam Cooke's label. I remember that. Yeah, so this, is, this has a lot of meaning for me. Dedicated to him. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Billy Preston. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I know it will. A change is gonna come. 